Next we are moving to the mat the graphical representation of the rate of a reaction. See here in the x axis we are representing the time and y axis we are representing the concentration. So consider the reaction A gives B. So e, A is the uh, reactant. A is the reactant. So at the initial stage of a reaction the concentration of A is very high as the reaction proceed the concentration of A decreased progressively and at the initial stage the concentration of the product B is zero but as, as the reaction proceed the concentration of the B increased. Next we are moving into a problem N2 plus 3 H2 gives 2 NH3 that is the formation of the ammonia by using nitrogen and hydrogen but in all cases as we discussed the previously the concentration of the reactant and the product are in terms of one mole but here the concentration of the reactant is 3 hydrogen and concentration of the product is 2 NH3 okay so in that case the rate of a reaction is equal to we can express the rate in terms of reactant or the product first of all we are expressing the rate of a reaction in terms of product that is ammonia in terms of ammonia so the rate of a reaction is equal to plus 1 by 2 d nh3 divided by dt we are ex we are always expressing the rate of a reaction in terms of one mole okay that's why plus 1 by 2 d nh3 divided by dt that's equal to if you are expressing the the rate of a same reaction in terms of reactant here we can see two uh, reactant nitrogen and hydrogen so we can express either in terms of nitrogen or in terms of hydrogen so if you are representing in terms of nitrogen is equal to minus d n2 divided by dt or is equal to minus 1 by 3 d h2 divided by dt this is the instantaneous reaction because we are expressing in terms of differential okay if you are replacing in average uh, uh, replacing if you are expressing the rate of a reaction in terms of average rate the equation is replaced by plus 1 by 2 delta nh3 divided by delta t okay that is only the difference so thus the rate of a reaction is equal to minus d n2 divided by dt that's equal to 1 by 2 d nh3 divided by dt that is the rate of formation of the ammonia is equal to twice the rate of the disappearance of nitrogen that's equal to d nh3 divided by dt that's equal to if you are expressing in terms of hydrogen is equal to 2 by 3 minus dh2 divided by dt